New tonight, the Call 7 investigators going undercover, finding some local retailers are tracking your every move while you shop. Call 7 investigator Kelly Raybon live. And Kelly, you found customers have no idea this is actually happening. That's right. More than 50 million smartphone, tablet, or laptop users have already been tracked using this technology, gathering information about you while you shop. And the company tracking you won't tell where it's happening. Did you know that you're being tracked right now? No. <laughs> While you're searching the mall for deals. I feel like it's an invasion of my privacy. That's scary. Retailers like Nordstrom are gathering data about you from an unlikely source. It was out, without my consent, I think I'd really be bothered by it. Shoppers outside this Cherry Creek Nordstrom didn't know they were being tracked till we told them. And that's worrisome to me. I don't want to be tracked like that. Tracking by Euclid Analytics, a California-based company that monitors Wi-Fi signals sent from your mobile device to determine if you walked by a store or went inside, how long you shopped, or even if you're a repeat customer. I shop at Nordstrom, but I don't want them like tra tracking me. Paul 7 investigators spoke to store managers undercover to find out what kind of notice stores are giving customers. I want to say that there was a sign when you first walked in the door. At the Nordstrom Rack in Boulder, the warning sign was nearly on the floor and partly obscured by another sign. And the signs at Nordstrom Cherry Creek weren't much easier to see. You're the first person that's ever asked about it. When was the last time that you went into Nordstrom? About two minutes ago. Did you see the sign there? No. I sit there all the time on my break. I really do. I've never noticed it. I think it's outrageous. Privacy advocate John Soma says when it comes to this type of tracking, consumers deserve more than a sign on the wall. That is not effective notice, and clearly it is not effective consent with some fine print saying by your agreeing to walk into this store, you're giving up your privacy rights on tracking information. So is this kind of mobile monitoring too invasive? Euclid's chief market Marketing officer John Fu agreed to answer questions by phone. It's very important for us that we uh, protect the trust and privacy of, of consumers. The company tracks you without asking permission first because Fu says it gives retailers more accurate information about shoppers. If it were designed as an opt in the system only, um, then we wouldn't be able to help the retailer really understand what's going on inside the store because it would be a very, very small percentage of the people actually visiting the store. Who says Euclid is working with retailers to better notify consumers they're being monitored. Going forward, we are requiring it for all of our retail partners. Euclid's tracking technology is being used by retailers across the country, but the company refused to provide store names or how many places nationwide, just the zip codes of where they're operating. So you're protecting the privacy of your clients, but you take consumers' information without their knowledge. Well, we don't actually identify consumers either, so we, we never know the name or identity of a particular consumer. But what are they going to do with that data? Are they going to keep it forever? Are they going to aggregate it? Are they going to sell it um, to, quote, affiliates? We just don't know, and that's what is so troubling to me. You can only speak to what we do right now, and that, that is, you know, we, we have no intent to ever sell this information. Shoppers say they're not taking any chances. I actually would have never guessed that a store would be doing that. Instead, taking more precautions to protect their privacy. Now that I know that they're tracking me, I'm a little less likely to shop in their store. Nordstrom says it's using Euclid as part of a pilot program in 17 of its 240 stores. A spokesperson says managers at the Boulder and Denver stores have been retrained about Euclid and will make sure that signs are more visible in the future. Euclid says that you can opt out of the tracking. Just click on this story on our website, thedenverchannel.com, and we'll show you how. Live in the newsroom, I'm Call 7 investigator Kelly Raybon. Boy, fascinating and eye-opening. Thank you, Kelly. If you have a story idea for the Call 7 investigators, call 303-832-7777 or send an email to call7 at thedenverchannel.com.